Hi everyone, it's Elise from Bound to Journal. Um, this is the fourth time I've done this video. Uh, this is part two of how I make my journals. Um, for some reason my camera's um, just not doing what it should do. So um, anyway, fingers crossed, this is one. So if you remember last time we left it, we'd wrapped our card um, around the tin. We'd tied it up with our tights. Um, so when you take the tights off, take all the um, the masking tape away you'll end up with these are two actually two cardboard curved spines um, and all I've done is stick them together using the three-in-one glue um, and just sort of give it a good um, firming together and then what I tend to do is just leave them on the tin just to dry um, it doesn't take very long and then you get a really good hard spine the next step is with your grey board now as I think I told you last time I buy my grey board in A4 sheets you can buy yours pre-cut into A5 sheets I just find for me it works out cheaper to buy it like this so all I do is cut it down the middle and then what you need to remember with this grey board um, is that whatever you do to one side you have to do to the other otherwise it warps a little bit so I give it a coat of Mod Podge the cheaper version I believe is that you can get um, ordinary PVA glue and just water it down um, and it's the same thing as Mod Podge um, I just like this stuff um, I use it when I um, finish a book I give all the books a coat in it um, if I'm doing um, some sort of complicated thing on a um, a label and I want to protect it, I give it a coat of this as well. Um, just gives it a little bit of protection. Protection. So all I do is take my paintbrush, give it a good dunking there, all over both sides, and then again just leave it to dry. You have to be patient to make these books. <laughs> I'm not very patient. So there you go. That's your your basic book shape so you've got all the components you need to make a book what you need next is something called Tyvek um, I believe in America you use this stuff in lots of your packaging um, so you can you can get it for free um, over here I haven't managed to find it in, in very much of anything really um, so I buy it this was um, 20 sheets of A4 uh, which I cut in half like this um, so it means I get 40 books out of one pack which isn't bad um, it's really good stuff it doesn't tear you can't rip it you can't sort of pull it and distort it it's just that's how it is um, I had a problem when I first started looking for it. I didn't know how to spell it so I'll tell you it's T-Y-V-E-K and this is 55 GSM so all I do is cut a sheet in half, I fold it in half, just to give me some sort of idea. So what you want to do is to put your spine over the top and for it to be roughly, you don't have to be too precious about it, in the middle. Um, whatever you do, it never works out first time, but at least with a three in one glue, you can move it around a bit. Um, and just position it um, as you'd like. So let's just do this. Just try and get sort of around the edges um, and give it a good coating in the middle as well. You don't have to fold it in half it's just how I do it it never works out anyway so I don't know why I bother really but there you go um, oh it's not too bad actually um, just move it across a little bit and then all you do is just firm it into the spine give it a good rub So 
that's going to make a really good strong spine. Um, the next thing you need to make for yourself is a spacer. Um, when I first started making these books, I used thicker um, grey board, um, but I've worked out that really uh, the thinner stuff works just as well. Um, it's definitely not going to go anywhere. Um, so this was um, two offcuts of two thick pieces. So if I was making it a book now with um, the thinner stuff, I'd use maybe offcuts of three or even four bits just to give a decent um, spine. So, and also a tip, if you just write a T at the top for top, um, and make sure that when you are measuring this or drawing down the side of it, you always have your T at the top. Because quite often what I found was, it's never quite the same at the top and the bottom. And I was doing that and then turning it around and finding it wasn't quite the same. Um, so it just, it just cuts down on faff time really. Um, so we do, draw a line down. Again, the same on this one. So this gives you um, a good indication of where to put the grey board. So let me show you one that I've done before. Oops. So here, this is what it'll look like. And then when you're actually creating a book, it gives you this edge here. It just makes it look like a proper book and it's very sort of rounded and that's going in like that. I hope that makes sense. So again, all you do, good old glue, and again, try and get on the edges if you can. board and just line it up it doesn't have to be a hundred hundred percent accurate um, you can eyeball it and if you can see that there's a, a difference you can jiggle it around a little bit and just give it a good rub And then the same with the other side. So there you have your basics of um, a book. Um, the next stage is how to cover it. Um, there are various ways that I that I do. Um, I use material. So for example, I bought this material cheaply from a shop. Um, I tea dyed it, and then um, once it had dried, I got some more tea dye, and just splattered it. Um, I've crunched it up a little bit as well just to give it a little bit of texture so you would literally lay that on there glue it on and then cut the corners um, you can also which I like to do get some material and then you need um, just some ordinary black school paint um, I use it neat so I don't um, add any water to it 
um, I paint my material in it and it just makes it go hard and crinkly. Um, it just gives a bit more support to the spine as well. And when I'm measuring it, what I do is use a piece of the grey board. I don't like that look. Plus I cut extra for the, for the ends just to wrap around. And then once you've got your black in place or whatever colour you want to do it, you get some nice paper and um, put that on like that. But this is um, part three, so I will do another video um, and show you probably how I do with the black first of all and the paper um, and uh, we can go from there. So I hope this has been useful, um, I hope the videos work this time and um, I'll be uh, putting another video out really soon. Thank you, bye.